Hi, everybody. It's Saturday, and it's absolutely beautiful here in my little corner of Wisconsin. The sun is shining, and it was warm when I took my walk, and I got a lot of good work done this morning, and I've been sitting with my kittens and knitting and thinking and praying and um, hoping that these days are going to be good for all of us, for our creativity and our imagination and opening our hearts to people and I'm reminded today of just how incredibly amazing people are, how much they're helping and reaching out and looking for new ways to be together from a distance. So that is a very good thing. And we have a book today about socks or ducks, depending on your point of view. It's called Ducks Don't Wear Socks. by John Nedwidick, illustrated by Lee White. For Carolyn, Sophie, Emily, and Duck. Thank you, Sheila. And for Lisa. Emily was a serious girl. One day, while she was in a serious mood, taking a serious walk, she met Duck. Duck was definitely not serious. asked Emily. What are you wearing? Socks! yelled Duck. Ducks don't wear socks, replied Emily quite seriously. Cold feet! yelled Duck, and off he went. The next day, they met again. Emily was still serious. Duck was still not. No socks, laughed Duck. But Emily pointed out quite earnestly, you're wearing a tie. And ducks don't wear ties. Big meeting, yelled Duck. And off he ran, tie flapping in the wind. The day after, Emily was still a serious girl, but she almost smiled when she saw Duck again. A hat? asked Emily. I have never seen a duck wear a hat. Late! For the roundup, yelled Duck, and off he galloped into the sunset. Emily almost laughed, but she bit her lip and managed to stay serious. Until the next day. Duck, Emily began to ask, are those boots, yelled Duck, fields to plow, crops to plant. Duck's getting a ticket. 
Emily's lips slowly curled into a smile, and she kept smiling. Until the next day, when Duck! exclaimed Emily at the sight of Duck wearing underwear, yelled Duck. Close up of his underwear. I have never, ever seen a duck wearing underwear, Emily gasped. Pants on the line, yelled Duck. And off he sailed, not the least bit embarrassed. Emily smiled, and she began to giggle. Before she went to sleep that night, Emily laughed just a little bit to herself. The next day, Emily just happened to meet Duck again. But this time, Emily called Duck. What are you wearing? I'm a duck laughed Emily. A duck? yelled Duck. Emily laughed so hard that she cried. Duck laughed so hard that he quacked. And off they went. The end. Friends, these are very serious days. And it's important that we take the things that the best scientists tell us to be true. To be careful, to wash our hands, and to keep our preventative distance. And if we're going out where we can't do that, to maybe wear a face mask. And to do all of the things we can do to keep our hospitals and our medical facilities and professionals from being overwhelmed. But just because these are serious days doesn't mean we shouldn't also find reasons to laugh and to smile and to giggle and to have fun because life doesn't stop just because we're preventative distancing. So if you need to uh, look for a duck that's wearing polka dotted underpants, that's probably a good thing to do. Or to watch a favorite comedy TV show or movie, or to giggle so hard that you roll on the floor and you almost cry. Those are really important things to do in these days too. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday and I will see you tomorrow Sunday for another story. And I want you to remember in all of this, in the serious days and in the laughing days, just how very, very much I love you. Bye-bye.